So hello friends. So this is just a snippet review uh, for all our good friends in uh, my Karnataka state. So just to take you through what has been the evolution of organ donation in uh, state of Karnataka and a brief mention about uh, India. Uh, so we are seeing steady sort of an increase in the organ donation rates in our state. Uh, and pan India as well. So it's just to reflect upon how we are progressing. So it's just a snippet, maybe three, four minutes to just look into the data. So if you look into the deceased organ donors in India, so it has been steadily rising. As you see in 2013, it was 340. And in fact, 2023 was a landmark year where it, had, it crossed 1000. So as you see in 2023, it crossed 1000 uh, organ donation, deceased organ donor. This is pan India. So in India, it is actually a very small number considering the population of India. So, but still we have crossed 1000. That was considered uh, quite a, uh, you know, quite a, it's a, considered as an epoch moment for India. So, in 2023, there were 18,378 donations that happened from those 1038 donors. And kidneys, there was 13,426 uh, kidney donations that happened from that 1038 sort of a donations that happened and liver 4491 donations happened heart to 221 but if you look just to give a perspective whether these donations are good enough so annually there are 100 and every year 180000 ckds that get diagnosed 180 180000 out of which you can see the deficit uh, so you have kidney donations close to around 13,000 happening. So there is a huge uh, dearth and deficit with regards to the needs of uh, the deceased organ donors. So we'll just shift our gears into Karnataka. So in 2023, Karnataka had 178 deceased donor donations. And in fact, uh, it is a pride for Karnataka that it is the second highest deceased organ donors. So the first place is by Telangana. So Karnataka occupies second place pan India for the maximum deceased organ donation and the first place is held by Telangana and but in Karnataka from 2007 to 2024 there is 48 fold increase in the organ donation rates that have happened in 2024 we spoke about 2023 2024 until 2024 there have been 1075 donors until 2024 there have been 1075 donors which has helped lives of 5000 people so this is the statistics in karnataka so we so the donation rates are slowly and steadily increasing in karnataka and in india and there are a lot of lives that are saved but as you see there is still a huge sort of a gap with regards to the organ donors so when you look at the waiting list so what is the demand so this is the supply we saw supply of 1075 and in 2023 we had 178 donors if you look at the waiting list in 2024, 5,942 are in the waiting list for kidneys. 2,043 are there for waiting list in the liver. And 187 waiting for the heart and 79 waiting for the lungs. So this is the Karnataka waiting list at this point of time in 2024. And uh, Karnataka also has a record of having uh, something which is unique. So if you look at nationally, the pledges, 75,000 organ donation pledges have happened from Karnataka. So there is an online government website where an online pledging can happen. Uh, so in Karnataka, there have been 75,000 organ donation pledges. And uh, the unique thing is Bellari uh, has had a largest sort of a pledges that has happened. So which is something to be, take note of. Nationally, Bellari was the highest sort of a organ donation pledges that happened. So we need to find out there may be some activity happening which is leading to the largest pledge that is happening from Bellari. So this is the sort of a dashboard uh, which is from NOTO, which is National Organ and Tissue Transplantation Organization, where anyone can go and register themselves for the pledge. And this website I checked yesterday and this is 2,95,740 are the total pledges as of now that has happened pan India. And if you see Karnataka, there was 75,000 and Bellari was the highest sort of a pledges that happened. So when you look at Bangalore, so Bangalore also is very noteworthy. So Bangalore is very noteworthy, pan India as having highest number of 
transplant centers. So, which is something one needs to be proud of. So, highest transplant centers are in Bangalore. So, there are 48 transplant centers and followed by Dakshin Kannada and Mysuru. So, which means Bangalore does uh, make an impact with regards to having highest sort of a transplant center. So, just looking into the trends and initiatives, Bangalore is also, Bangalore or Karnataka is also noteworthy for certain activities that it does. So, it does honor the organ donor families on certain special days. So, they do honor the families following organ donation. And Karnataka is also known for establishing non-transplant retrieval centers. So, in other states, only hospitals that are registered for transplant uh, is a place where retrieval of organs can happen. But here, non-transplant hospitals also, surgeons can go and retrieve the organs. That is some... Uh, that is the novel step that is taken from Karnataka and Bangalore, or Karnataka government. And in 2023, Karnataka has been awarded as the best emerging SOTO. So, SOTO is State Organ Tissue Transplant Organization. So, so these are some of the initiatives taken by the Karnataka. So, so we need to be proud as a state of Karnataka that we do the second largest, at least in 2024, we are the second largest uh, sort of an organ donation, deceased organ donor donations that have happened after Telangana. And we have the Bangalore has the highest number of transplant centers, 48. And we are the state which have authorized non-transplant sort of a hospitals to do retrievals. And we have the best emerging SOTO and we do honor the families of all the organ donors. So these are some of the high points of Karnataka friends. So that's about it. So thank you, friends. So request you all to submit your valuable work to General of Acute Care. And of course, you can visit my website to react to this lecture. So thank you. Thank you, Manindra.